In the construction management program here at Eastern Michigan University, uh, we focus on all the key items that students need to learn to be successful project managers in the field. Uh, we also like to do is incorporate hands-on approach to courses whenever we can. Uh, a lot of our courses that deal with lab-based activities such as construction systems and materials get the student to really dig in and kind of feel what it's like to be somewhat in the, in the field, but at the same time have the, the ability to work with tools. If you're getting a student from Eastern Michigan University, you're gonna get a person that actually will put 110% to everything they do. Um, our students, they, they come here and they, they put not just the book smarts to the work, they put their hands to work. Um, they're not afraid to actually just do whatever it takes to get the job done safely in a quality manner and within a budget. Um, and that's the, the key constraints of construction. In construction management in the past, typically there has not been as diverse as far as male and female ratio, um, which I have in the recent years been seeing a lot more females in the classroom. And it really encourages uh, the, the, the male gender too to actually, I think, increase their effort level. Because I mean, honestly, a lot, a lot of the female students, I mean, they, I mean, when, when they're in my class, they are the ones that usually will be asking all the questions and make sure they know everything about it. They, they put that extra work into it. Really, there's no general skills that a student has to have to come into the construction management program. We have young students that are coming out of high school that have no idea what they want to do. We have young students coming out of high school that actually have a good amount of uh, background in like the building trades. But what we're going to do is still start from ground zero and teach them the basics. The students that might have a little extra background, that might give them a little nudge, but it does not mean that it's gonna limit them at all in our program. And it doesn't matter, you know, based by gender or age, um, everybody has an equal opportunity to succeed in our program. I just want to emphasize that our program is not only for the construction, but also has the business side of it. So when I'm just talking about the construction, people are just thinking about that building something. For sure we are building things, but there is a business, very strong business behind this construction industry. We are just preparing our students for the future needs. We are building hospitals, bridges, highways. So this is very important for the society and being part of the society with different components is very important, I believe. Female or male, there is no difference for, for us. I believe they are just doing as good as our male students. I don't see any differences between them since this is very academic and very, uh, very natural approach that we have. And um, I, I would say they are doing better than male students in many cases. Uh, Math-based courses, engineering-based courses, again, commercial building sites. So there are lots of good sites that the female students are doing better than male students.